Welcome. This video will show you how to create a NetBeans project. You can open the NetBeans software now. Once you have the NetBeans IDE software open, we will begin by creating a new project. In the upper left corner, find the yellow folder with the green plus. That's the Create New Project shortcut. Alternatively, you can find this on File, New Project. Choose the project category to be Java, which is already selected for you, and the project Java Applications. Then say Next. You will need to name your project. I'm going to name this Hello World 1. Then select the project location. By default, NetBeans is going to put the project file under the Documents folder, NetBeans Projects. Notice it creates a project folder named Hello World in that location. If this is not where you want your project to reside, you can select the Browse button and change the location. Regardless, NetBeans will automatically create the project folder in whichever location you choose. Make sure that the Create Main class is checked. We will let NetBeans go ahead and create our main class right now. It will automatically create a main class named Hello World 1. Then say Finish. If you have already changed your templates, the top of your file should look similar to mine. If not, you can review that a little later. I'm going to rename the assignment to be Hello World. I'm going to put today's date. And my name as the programmer. A short description should suffice. Let's take a look at the folder structure before we start any coding. In the upper left corner, we see the Hello World 1 project. Inside our project is a folder named Source Packages. Java automatically created the Hello World 1 project name for us. And NetBeans created the Hello World package. Notice that the package is the same as the project name, except it's all in lowercase. NetBeans also automatically created Hello World 1.java. That's our source file that contains the main class. This was done because we had the main class checkbox selected. I'm going to move the curly brace so that we align the begin curly brace and end curly brace for class Hello World 1. If you expand the comment, that's a javadoc comment, you'll see that mine just has my name as author. 
And if I expand the comments for public static void main, it just lists the parameter list. We'll discuss that later. This is the Javadoc style of commenting that we will be using throughout the semester. You will also be embedding your own comments with the double slash inline comment as you desire. Okay, let's take a look at the code. If we click on the plus sign next to public static void not main on line 24, again, I will adjust my curly braces. We see that it's um, empty. We haven't added any lines of code. We're just going to add one line to display the traditional hello world, welcome to Java programming message on the screen. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to get rid of that comment and I'm going to replace it with system capital S dot out lowercase o dot print line P R I N T L N and in side parentheses and quotes Hello World. Welcome to NetBeans Java. Now, like C++, our lines of code need to end with a semicolon. So after the closing parenthesis, add a semicolon. And now we have a complete Java program. Albeit small, it is a complete Java program. Find the green arrow button on the toolbar above that says Run Project. And go ahead and click on that. In the lower portion of your screen, you should see the Hello World, Welcome to NetBeans' Java message printed. Congratulations. You just coded your first Java programming application.